Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am training for Philadelphia Marathon, which is in only two weeks from the publication of this video. I am in Boston right now, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I filmed a lot of myself running through Boston where I had to go for work. So, let's do this. Hi guys, good morning. Today's Monday. I am working from downstairs, basically from the floor, because my router actually broke and I am connected to the, I can't show you, I have a contraption right here, but I, um, I'm working off of my PS4 because that's the only way I can actually route the signal from the Wi-Fi into my computer and this is super, super uncomfortable. I've been working from this position, like sitting on the floor since 8 this morning and it's 3.15 right now. So this is going to be a really interesting week. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm going to be in Boston. So I'm gonna be running in Boston. I'm so excited about that. Like running next to the Charles River. Oh my God, I am so excited for that. Yeah, so I haven't run today. I'm gonna to take it, I'm taking the day off. I might be able to run Wednesday when I land in Boston, um, but I am not sure actually. So I'm gonna to have to see how that works. But definitely, I'm not running today. I'm gonna let my legs uh, recover a little bit more. And then um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, I'm gonna run tomorrow. And then I'm gonna do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then Sunday is the big kahuna, it's the three hour run. I should be able to do 18 miles, something like that, 17 miles. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to do that run on the trip now. Okay, so let me continue working and um, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. It's the end of the day. It's 5.20, 5.25. Yeah. I am flying to Boston tomorrow and I still haven't packed. So right now we are doing 10 minutes warm up and then four repeats of four, well, four intervals five minutes fast, five slow. So again, this training goes by time and this was supposed to be done Thursday. However, because I'm in Boston, it all went to the toilet. So I was actually checking the times that I'm gonna have to be with clients and I'm not gonna be able to run Friday. So I'm gonna have to run tomorrow when I get to Boston. I have a dinner with clients at six, but before that, from like three to five, I should be able to run, hopefully. So, yeah, I mapped the area in which I'm gonna be running, and I am super pumped. Okay, let me continue going. I'm gonna connect my music. I didn't connect the music yet. Let's do it. Four, five minutes fast. I'm on the recovery, last recovery, five minutes. And then after that I have 10. We'll see at the end how I did. Let's finish these 15 minutes. Whew. That kicked my butt, they are long. I think I stopped shy of the kilometer. So I probably did 515 if I had to guess but let's not guess and we'll just check at the end I don't think you guys can see me hopefully you can't see my face I did 0 0.56 0 0.56 0 0.56 and 0 0.57 so I was right on the same range right there okay I'm gonna get home I'm gonna see you tomorrow on my way to Boston Hi 
guys, so I am in the hotel right now. It's 10.48. I need to, it was good that they gave me my room early, which is, it's phenomenal, because I was thinking I might have to drop everything and just find a place to work out of. But I can work out of my room, and I have to connect the computer. If you want to see a room tour, you can go here to my other channel, and you will see a room tour before I actually destroyed the room. I put all my stuff around. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to connect my computer now and I have to attend a meeting, like an old hands meeting in like 11 minutes. So I have to figure out how to connect the computer. And then after that, we are going to see if we can find lunch. Yeah, because the, the call is going to be an hour. So yeah. So no wonder I am tired. I woke up at five, but yeah. So that's me right now. And I'm going to go see my call finished. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. I was checking the suggestions from the hotel. They have a really solid website. Um, and I am going to, I think I'm gonna try Parish. So it's supposed to be like a five minute walk because I wanna come back and work a little bit more. So it's 12, 15 right now. I'm throwing stuff on the ground. Let's go. So the hotel is in an unbelievable spot. I went downstairs and um, I saw one of my Peers. Okay, where am I going? I think I have to go this way. I saw one of my peers. I'm here from my division, but there's people from other divisions here as well. So I saw one of them and he said, just go to Cheers for lunch. It's super cool. I just came from there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Cheers. And I have to cross through this park right here. I don't know the name of the park, but there's even a leaf. Oh my god, this is super cool. I love Boston already. It's so fancy. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. So very cool. I'm gonna run here lately. I have to have lunch and then come back and sit at the booth. My things were not there yet, so I just picked a table. Anyway, this is probably too much information, but look at this. Such a nice park right here. Okay, so supposedly okay. Cheers is on the other side. So let's keep walking. And Cheers is right here on the other side of the the other side of the park. Let's go! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Okay, that was quite an experience, guys. Um, I mean, I love this place. If I had to come back to Boston, I would come. The waiter was so nice and so friendly and respectful at the same time. Because when you're a woman, not every single waiter knows how to not push boundaries. So, yeah, I'm gonna retrace my steps back to the hotel and um, see if my booth arrived. Set up the booth and work for a little bit more and then go for a run i'm thinking i'm gonna i want to go for a run at four because there's a cocktail thing with clients at six so hopefully yeah that's what i'm gonna do okay honestly this is it's a beautiful city i mean i haven't seen that much but it looks awesome it's really pretty and really clean at least this area where i'm at
it's awesome to have water in a park. Okay, let's get going. I was shocked. So it's actually the end of the day. It's 4 p.m. I just got changed. I finished the conference and I'm gonna go for a run and it's been a busy day, guys. Yeah, sorry, wasn't able to film anything before now. I don't even know if you guys like this type of content, like extra bits and pieces of what I'm doing with my day. Excuse this mess, because I actually got more stuff. I didn't know what to wear now. So I'm gonna go for a run, and before I go out for a run, I'm gonna do my 10 minute core routine. I am going to be doing during the whole month of November, 10 minutes of core, just to make my belly. I think it's really to improve my form. I have a lot of things planned for the channel, and this is part of some of the things that I have planned for the channel. So I can't disclose a lot about this yet, but I will soon, promise. definitely harder than yesterday and the day before so yeah I started November 1st and I'm gonna end November 30th so it's gonna be 30 days of back-to-back -back core work so yeah okay let's go for a run I don't wanna run out of date so. <laughs> Park. It's right here. Okay, let's run. This 
is something called the Mother Church. I wasn't expecting this right here. And there, that's the Boston Symphonic Orchestra. And I don't know what this is. This one here. Uh, this building is quite impressive. It's really impressive. Okay, we're gonna continue running. This is the Boston Public Library of Boston. It's a really pretty building. This square is super pretty. Chinatown right now. Pretty cool. The places you go to when you're running. Vietnamese sandwich, it's closed. So this is the Paramount Theater. Pretty cool. I'm in the financial district right now. And this is the Boston Ballet, the Opera House. That tiny thing. Yeah. Very cool. I'm gonna keep going. So I still have about 30 minutes to go. So yeah, okay. Okay, so I did 6.35, 6 miles 35, in one hour seven. I had to stop a lot. And at one point, I stopped, the, it was a long light. I stopped to watch, and I forgot that I stopped it. So I ran probably another half a mile, I would say. Yeah, it's all good. So, um, I'm here in my hotel. That's it, the Boston Park Plaza. I am going to take a shower and find a place to have dinner. There's so many places, it's hard to choose. Okay, let's take a shower. Well, I had dinner. I'm coming back to my hotel room right now. It's, I think it's 7.15, something like that. It's kind of chilly. People are wearing coats and I didn't bring any coats. I just have this sweatshirt, so I'm kind of... Snoopy! I, um, I'm chilly, so yeah, this is my last night in Boston and I really like this city. Look at this skyline here. Look at that. That's on the other side of the park. So yeah, it's a stunning city. It's pretty and cohesive, you know, in a way it's like there's nothing out of sort of I don't know, when you go to New York City, there's like all these different areas that, that look kind of really different to each other, but Boston is like kind of a lot more cohesive. Like all the houses look like clean and pretty and I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna, doing a good job at describing this. I'm going to my hotel room and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna exercise tomorrow. I'm kind of tired. That run left me a little bit yeah 
I also went to CVS on one of the breaks during the conference. I went walking really fast to CVS because I needed to buy something that I needed. And then I came right back and um, I ended up putting like 25,000 steps on my legs. So lots of walking and running today. Yeah. I have another block to get to the hotel. gonna run on the treadmill mainly because I have a long run and also because I'm gonna be watching the New York City Marathon on my laptop and I really want to watch it so it's about to start it's 806 right now I think the YouTube is a little bit delayed but yeah I'm gonna run on the treadmill just because I want to watch the New York City Marathon live I want to see what happens so I have my water here so this is electrolytes and this is water and we are going for three hours so, yeah, let's do it. I just grabbed some water first, my mistake, and then I grabbed my electrolytes, and we are 50 minutes into, 51 minutes into this run. I'm taking it slow, guys, because I want to stay in the aerobic pace, and then I'm gonna kick it in for like 25 minutes, so I'm gonna go a little faster. But I'm gonna do that towards the end, when I'm tired, just to, obviously prepared for the Philadelphia Marathon. So, yeah. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so now, oof, I'm gonna stretch a little bit more. My feet are like, my toes are hurting a lot. I don't know why, both toes, both feet. Anyway, I am going to do my um, core work right now. Oh, man. Um, oh, they're super worn. Holy crap. Yeah, I can't use this anymore. They're very worn out, that's why. Ha! I'm gonna show you my shoes. Ha! They're very worn. Okay. Look at this. Super, super worn. And I bet these are too. These other one, yeah. Pretty flat. Time to discontinue them. I'm gonna do my core work. You guys know I'm doing 10 minutes of core work every day during the month of November. Yeah, okay, let's do it. So 16 miles, three hours. Strava says three hours 10, but I had to go to the bathroom, come back. So three hours 10 all included with the going to the bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom three times in 16 miles. I think I drank too much water. And then 10 minutes of core work and check when we're done i just reached 40 miles this week so after these two weeks to marathon to fill up a marathon and i am tapering again guys mm -hmm. 